All right, hello and welcome trombone low brass students. Today I'm going over a song from the Essential Elements Book 2, The Red Book. And uh, this song is a song I do in sixth grade, number 11 chromosome, for a mid-year evaluation where students learn the song and they have to record it. And then I grade them on their ability to play the correct notes and rhythms. And I wanted to go over this in case you're in my class and you're still struggling with the notes and the positions. You can watch this video for um, some help. And then I'll play through the song at the end. And I'm not just limiting this to trombone. I'm going to show you some of the fingerings on the baritone today, too. So I have a baritone, but I'm going to be performing on the trombone. So the first thing I have my students do in the beginning of the song, I have them connect, put a little arrow between the second note and the sixth note. You'll notice the second note is a C sharp and the sixth note is a D flat. Okay. And then the other notes I connect are in measures five and six. We have an F sharp and a G flat. Okay, hopefully you can see them. The second note and the sixth note, F sharp and G flat. And these are called enharmonic pairs, okay? So on the trombone, if you're in C, sixth position, right? And you're in D, fourth position, C sharp is fifth, D flat is fifth, okay? So they are the same position on the trombone. So when you're going up, you're going six, five, four, three, four, five, six. The nice thing about these chromatic scales, you just go up the positions and down the positions. And in measure five, where you start on that F, F is one, G is fourth, but F sharp is fifth, and G flat is fifth. So they're gonna be the same position. That's why we're connecting them, okay? So you so when you start on that F, one, five, four, three, four, five, one. And you know, if you know anything about uh, alternate positions, you can also play F in sixth position. I wouldn't suggest it here, but you could go six, five, four, three, four, five, six. All right, so let me show this to you on the baritone to make sure we're on the same page here. For those of you who play bass clef baritone, if you're playing treble clef baritone, I suggest you go back and watch the the um, the trumpet video for this because they would be the same fingerings you would play, okay? All right, so on measure one and two where we connected that C sharp, D flat, those are both two and three, second and third valve. So we start on C, D sharp, oh, C, C sharp, D, E flat, D, D flat, C. Okay, so we use the second and third. And the nice thing about this is when we get to measures five and six, F sharp and G flat are also second and third valve. F, F sharp, G, A flat, G, G flat, F. And then we play that, okay? So let's continue on with baritone through the rest of the notes, then I'll go back to trombone. On the next line, G, A flat, A, B flat, B flat, A, A flat, G, E flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat. So we play four of those in a row. We keep the A flat throughout. Then you rest for two measures, and then you play do, 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 do on the E flat at the end. All right, so let me just show that rest for a minute. See that multi-measure rest right there? That's two-measure rest. Since we're in three, four, we count that one, two, three, two, two, three, okay? Let me go over those notes on the trombone. We're back on measure nine, fourth position, G. G, A flat, A, B flat, B flat, A, A flat, G, E flat, and then A flat, A flat, do, do, do. Then we rest, one, two, three, Two, two, three, do, 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 that's the E flat. And at the end of the song, at the end of measure 16, you'll see right there, it says D, C, Alfine. D, C, Alfine means to return back to the beginning and then you're gonna play all the way through the song until the fine. In this song, the fine is at the end of measure 13. So you're playing measures one to 16 and then playing one to 13, all right? So we are gonna start from the beginning of the song. We're going to play through it on the trombone. I'm going to switch back to 3, 4. All right, so I'm going to set my metronome to 80 beats per minute, like I said before, and we're going to start on that C. All right, here we go. One and ready. One, two, 
three, two, two, three. That was the end of chromosome on the trombone. You could have played along with the baritone. If you're a baritone treble clef and you know the fingerings, feel free to play along with this video too. In the description, you'll see a link for the instruction part of the video and the chromosome portion of the performance. So if you just want to play this again, you can always just click the timestamp next to that link. I hope you enjoyed playing chromosome today and I wish you the best in your practicing.